What's up everyone, I'm Mikey, I'm 29, I'm from Kansas City, and this is Financial Audit. Welcome down to Austin. What do you do for a living in Kansas City? Uh, I am a Tableau developer. I oh, I actually don't know what that is. What is that? Tableau? Um, so I, it's a, it's a software, um, oh. it's a BI tool. Uh, oh, so okay. I was an ETL developer before. Yeah. So Tableau is just a specialized software. It's uh, specifically in data visualizations and big data sets. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't work in the data part when I came to my... Uh, pass. So that's, that's really cool. So developer in that probably making decent money then, right? I'm doing all right. Yeah. Well, okay. What are you bringing in? Uh, 80,000 right now. Base. 80,000. Good. How long have you been in this position? I just started this one in May. Yeah. So it's, it's been fun. Uh, the last job I was at, I was an ETL developer and similar line of work in Kansas city is like 65 there. 65. Okay. Wow. So we're going up. Yeah, for sure. What'd you get a degree or certification in? Uh, so I was hoping to avoid that one a little bit. Uh, okay, but I'll, I'll just tell you straight up. Uh, tell me so straight I graduated up. in 2019. I have my bachelor's and I actually studied finance. Okay. And uh, you're after, hoping to avoid saying that because yeah. you have a pile of debt. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, just the, this part. But uh, and then after I graduated, I, uh, I actually took a bunch of certs and I'm still in cert courses. You know, I'm, I'm a lifelong learner, so I'm always studying. Um, I'll say this though, even though I studied finance, you know, I shadowed somebody that was a financial analyst. First thing he told me was, hey, you know, you need to learn SQL. And that was, yeah. as an ETL developer, I was really a SQL developer, right? So, so it really got me into the right path. Okay. Yeah, for sure. That makes sense. And, you know, I always talk about, I like certifications and stuff like that. I also like college degrees when done right. And I talk about tr course careers and everything like that for different tech certifications. So it's definitely, I mean, it sounds like you've kind of been on the right path when it comes to that, but you have not been on the right path when it comes to your at 29. How long As have you been Friday. in the career field? Uh, Just like for the professional career field. So yeah, I, um, so I studied finance and originally I thought that I wanted to be a, like a financial analyst, right? And I told you, I talked to the guy. So I, I found out that I didn't like the financial side as much as I did the data side, right? I'm a data guy, is yeah. what I really am. And so my first job was not great out of college. Um, so like the first three years, I, I just got a job that had data in the title and then I got promoted to a senior role there. So it had data in the but title. But like how long though? How long have you been in the profession? Five years. So five years. Why have we built up so much credit card debt in five years? So yeah, I really, I told you what I made in my last gig, but uh, yeah. really in the last year and a half before that, I was making like 30000 Okay. So $30,000. That's, I'm actually a little surprised that that's the salary you went into straight out of school with a finance degree, but either way, okay, so $30,000, are you just living well beyond your means or what got you into all this debt in the first place? Um, so yeah. Personal uh, loans. Yeah, that was a recent thing. Credit too. cards. So I can, Decent. Uh, what'd you do? So I can explain. So I, um, when I went and got that job in May, um, you know, in my line of work, it's not uncommon. So I turned in my two weeks notice at my last job and they're a great company. I got nothing bad to say about them, but, uh, you know, they actually let me go that day. Uh, that was a little bit of a shock. So wait, the day that you were putting in your two weeks, I turned in my two weeks notice. Did you get I, severance? Uh, no, they just let me go at the end of the day. Um, <laughs> and right. it was, yeah, but, uh, nothing, I've got nothing bad to say about them, but it, it was fun while it lasted. You know, they, I went there, tried it out and, um, I just, I'm a big picture guy and I knew that it just really wasn't going to work for me for what they did. They didn't do Tableau. Now I do Tableau only. Right. So yeah, I, uh, yeah. And so I left there. Um, really what got me started into this path is, uh, you know, this new got job my first day. So I got let, uh, laid off. And then the next day, this new company said, Hey, do you want to go to Vegas on a work trip for yeah. a conference for Tableau conference, which is like, if you're in Tableau, it's like the big thing they do it annually. It's you want to be involved in that. So I was laid off. So I didn't have as much money as I thought I had less than a thousand bucks to my name. Even though the trip was paid for, you had to buy everything yourself and then they reimburse you. Right. Well, it chipped like four to $5,000, like for like all in all. So I had maxed out credit cards and why'd you do this? Like if, even if things were okay, if why I take the trip, well, yeah. Why'd you You didn't need to though. Right? No, 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 no. It, well, it's, well, it was, uh, I thought it was like a sign for real, man. You know, like, uh, I was really bummed when I got let go because other people left. They were celebrated, you know, and, and to me, it was just kind of like, 
like I, I shook my boss's hand, my direct manager, and he was like, hey, man, no hard feelings. We'll get you taken care of. Uh, they'll do an exit interview at some point. But then, um, you know, the director and the VP came down and like a couple hours later and they're like, yeah, we're just going to. Well, the, the, this trip, though, again. So if did any of it have to come out of pocket? Versus oh no, it was all paid for. I then, just, that's not answering the question. Then why why are you in the why did you take out this personal loan and all this credit card debt? Yeah, so the personal loan that's what I was getting to. Um, so I had maxed out credit cards before that, right? And um, I needed to go on the trip because it was like essential for me to get like it was essentially going to be like a training opportunity, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, so I had to go to my mom and borrow some money, and then um, you know, I was just not a great thing, you know, like. But uh, even so, it was reimbursed later. Yeah. Yeah. So I paid my mom back, but you know, when, when you get let go and then, uh, you have like less than a thousand bucks to your name and rent and everything and all the bills you had to pay out. So I had like literally nothing. Why and, didn't you have an emergency fund? Uh, you know, man, I just, I really didn't, um, I didn't think about it that way. I was living yeah. paycheck to paycheck. I just, it was, uh, like I really just found your channel like in July and that ignorance I, is okay. I mean, yeah, I, mean I was ignorant. Yeah. I mean, I used okay. to, I used to be like, I don't need money in the bank. I'd rather have like silver and whatever else, you know, like crypto, all the other stuff. Well, while you're seeing, well, I don't think your ways have changed too much from that <laughs> going in your statements, but okay. So I see 2000, $235.70 hits per paycheck. Is this bi-weekly or semi-monthly? Uh, it's bi-weekly. And then that one, so I actually get a stipend for a cell phone once a month. Is that included in this? Yeah, it's at the top there. It's uh, like 65 a month they give okay. us for our cell phone because we use our own. Versus, you know, in the old days, they used to just give company cell phones out. So post-taxes... If we even it out throughout the year, that's fifty eight thousand and and you know retirement and all that stuff. Fifty eight thousand one hundred twenty eight dollars, or on average, because uh, if you're biweekly, you're gonna have a couple months that are three paycheck months. On average, though, four thousand eight hundred forty four dollars is what comes in on a monthly basis. On average, sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, did you? Okay, so you didn't have a fully funded emergency fund. You got laid off. What was the gap between first I, job, second job? It was like I turned in my two weeks notice. So I was set up to go like two weeks and start the next one. I didn't have a gap. You know what I mean? Were you accepted into that position yeah, I, already? I, I literally passed everything. It was so, I made sure I was 100% set before I turned in my two weeks. Okay, and you had $1,000 saved up. I, I'm just trying to figure something out. We have a $21,000 personal yeah. loan. So you had to borrow $21,000 to survive for two weeks? No, so that came because after I, I took that out a little after I was already working because, you know, I I, uh, I owed my mom some money still and uh, which was supposed to be reimbursed, so that money should have just gone to her well, in the first she, place. She got re I, I reimbursed the, a big chunk, but I still owed like a little less than half of what I owed her. So for I, why something different? Uh, no, it was it was just like you know I didn't have any money coming in, and then since I didn't, so you use those, so. You I was living paycheck to paycheck, yeah. But the money that was reimbursed specifically to pay for the trip should just go to paying off the trip, especially if it's loaned to yeah. a family member. Yeah. That's not something. And also this shows, again, not having an emergency fund is an emergency. You did not have an emergency, even though you had a next job lined up, which is incredible. Two weeks, man. we got to be able to get you to survive for two weeks. What? That shouldn't be complicated so i i survived the two weeks you know and, and uh that wasn't the problem the problem was i took so you're asking about the loan i took out the loan to you know i i was trying to consolidate the debt um i had i mentioned i had the maxed out credit card so i was i was bleeding for a while man you know i was i, was, I had three different credit cards and i was making payments but you know so that's a consolidated credit card Credit cards? Well, is that in a number of other things? And I owed my mom money and, and some other people. So, yeah, I mean, it was to get everything. It was to kickstart it. And, and If those are consolidated credit cards, why are we still putting money on credit cards? Um, That's why many people are against credit card consolidation because people consolidate their credit card. Beautiful. Now their balance is low on a credit card. So they just go do the same exact thing again and build up the credit card debt. Buddy. First credit card, there's a previous balance of $14,000. Yes, you made a good payment to it, but then you purchased $1,228 and then $200 of interest accrued on it, bringing it to $8,902. If $200 is accruing in it on a month, in a month, 
Why are we purchasing $1,228? Why possibly? So, yeah. Um, Especially after we've consolidated it. Yeah, I mean, I, I took out that, that loan and I never, I, I guess it wasn't in all, it wasn't a credit card consolidation loan. It was a personal loan, obviously, right? But my goal was to pay off as much of the credit cards. And I paid off one of them. And this one I, I made some good progress on. But now, you know, I've, I've, as you've seen, like you've probably seen the bank saying it, it's the money's all gone now. You know, it's it's I'm back to square one. I've plateaued. So this I, is why people do not like the consolidation. Eight thousand nine hundred two dollars twenty eight cents is owed, with a minimum monthly payment of two hundred twenty one dollars. That's a lot of that's a lot of dineros right there. So those two hundred dollars of interest accrued on a monthly basis. Absolutely disgusting. Your credit score, 640-ish. So I took out that personal loan, and then my credit score went up 50 points. So, you know, yeah, that's... I mean, credit scores are... You know, they're, well, I mean, that's but even still, thing. on this thing, uh, what is this? What is this? What is a CC bill? Is that a credit card bill that you're paying on a credit card? No, I don't know what that... Um, uh, oh, is, is that with the disc golf stuff? It's probably another disc golf item. So it's a disc golf thing. Then guess what? We have $83 of disc golf, then Jimmy John's, then taquitos. Then what's Queens price chopper. That's a grocery store. Okay. That's chill. Well, I was still wouldn't put it on a credit card though. The yeah. credit card that we can't pay off that we have interest and in, you're making a good amount of money. Uh, uh, Marco's pizza, Paramount plus out of all the subscription services they have in the world, Paramount plus, what are we even doing? Paramount plus. There's nothing to watch on Paramount plus Arby's, eBay, hmm, that's going to become a trend. $203 that time, and that's one out of about a 1000 we'll go through. Some taquitos and Panda Express and Jimmy John's paying for LinkedIn, which I guess made sense in your job situation, but why are you paying for LinkedIn right now? Yeah, that's a fair point. Uh, I'll tell you, it was 100% beneficial to me when I was on the job hunt. Yeah. But if you're saying now that, uh, you know, now that I've locked in a job, maybe I should cancel it. It's Probably fair point. Uh, so you know, I was draining $43.73 from you on a monthly basis, and you're paying $200 in interest on this card, and you can't fully pay it off. Yeah, I'd say it's about time to cancel that thing. And Jimmy John's. And you know I like Jimmy John's. So I like Jimmy John's. I like Panda Express. We're not doing it on a credit card that we cannot pay off. If you feel bad for my blood pressure right now, you should hit subscribe because I'm trying to get to two, 750,000 subscribers here. And thank you to everyone who has gotten us so close. I love you all so much. And my blood pressure has decreased because I got excited for a second. But now it's going to go up again because we have to talk about the personal loan. So you, dude, you took out 21. Or I don't even know what you took out, but. Oh, no, no. On July 14th? July 14th? This was a month ago? Yeah, man. Like two months ago? So I'll tell you. I really like. I, I just found your channel after, like, like literally, like a couple weeks after that, because you know. Oh, I, so cool. I, I was, I was, my back was against the wall. You know, I was just trying to figure out what I could do, and you know, I, I came from a dark place. In what I, dark place? Uh, I, I, um, you know, man, it's just, it was tough. Uh, I mean, I was, I guess, to give you an idea, before I tried to get into my finances to get them figured out I had to fix a couple other things in my life um you know I've lost probably 60 pounds and Ooh. I had to get my mental health right so this is at the time I I'll admit I, I neglected and ran up my credit card bills you know and but you know I was just taking it one day at a time uh you know I was just trying to survive the day as they say and yeah. you know now I'm at a point where I, I was just trying to, you know, instead of surviving the day, I'm trying to build something worth sticking around for. And so that's, I, I, I was looking at this and, Good way to look and, at and it. I, I was just, you know, my back was against the wall. It was, you know, my credit score, if you looked at it, it was just going straight down. So I thought, you know, there's no way I'll be able to, because I, I was draining, right? I was, I was paying, I was making payments every month. I was making over a thousand dollars in credit card payments every month and I was making no progress. And I, I took out the loan as a way to like, you know, kickstart it. So I, I was able to pay down some of the bills, you know, lower the payments, lower the util rate, pay back my mom, pay back everybody, you know, get everything straight. And then, you know, I was, I, I, I focused on credit score before I, I just, you know, once I found your channel, I, I, it really gave me a brand new perspective on a lot of things, especially for like this, you know, so, you know, I, 
and that's really kind of how I got there. But well, congratulations on losing sixty pounds over how long? Uh, it's been about two years. Yeah, it's awesome, dude. So, what makes me excited about that? Other than not, uh, other than obviously you've improved your health, which is awesome, and I'm trying to do that as well. Okay, that shows that you, there's you have the ability to buckle down, have some true discipline to improve your life. Having that ability is incredible. And that gives me a slightly more optimistic outlook on this whole situation. Slightly. <laughs> well, slightly, because I look at this uh, again. It's a $339 minimum monthly payment with a $20,567 $20, personal loan at basically 20%. 20 death, end of the world, kill me now. Yeah. Percent. Like I said, I, I had a weird perspective. You know, my credit score was down. I, the way I saw it was I needed help. I don't give a shit about your credit score. Well, no. I, well, it wasn't just that. It was like I said, I, 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 the way I saw it, it was like the credit score, like I couldn't get a better interest rate anyway. No. You, you know what I mean? You so, well, I mean, with, I, where, it, with it, where rates are right now anyway, and then, yes, you're right. And, and so, like, before I found your channel, I just, you know, I, I would have changed my whole approach, right? I would have, you know, I, and when you are like, I was getting flooded, you know, like I, I looked uh, like an option, like, and, and then once you start typing like consolidation, like, that's all you get, you know, it's, you just get flooded with the bad oh, information. Yeah. Oh, no. So it was hard to find the good information. You know, I was just getting told all this stuff and I thought that was my best option at the time. Which, which is exactly why the show exists. You're putting an example out to everyone who might be considering it, who are in similar situations to yourself. So, okay, now we're getting back into the credit cards again. So we have a Quicksilver card. Quicksilver at $955, which you should easily be able to kill in your income situation. It was $935. You made a $200, $200 payment. Awesome. Lovely. But then you went and purchased $220. I, okay, I get it. I get it. Everything you said is great. And the weight loss stuff is great. If you did that personal loan to kickstart your situation, why are we spending more on a credit card than we are even putting towards it? I know this is interest-free for a moment, not for very long probably, but even still, if we're trying to get out of the situation, and even you, know, you just found my channel recently, this you found my channel within the time of the statement, why'd you put more money on the balance? Um... I guess, you know, the the 0% interest is what I justified it with at the time. But the 0% interest only works as if, okay, I finance something at 0% and I make the minimum th monthly payments necessary to pay it off by the time it that 0% financing is done. You're putting more money on this. You're keeping the balance higher. You're making it go, it's you 0% and it goes until it's done. And that's when the interest will start accruing. You're going, no. The pitch shouldn't go higher when I'm doing that example. The pitch goes down. So, buddy, it's $100 of eBay and then $120. Okay, we're about to get into a lot of eBay. So what the f*** are you possibly doing on right, eBay? I, I can explain. eBay. Um, 30% interest. You know what? I actually, I, I, you know, you had a guy on here and... Uh, he was a Yu-Gi-Oh! or, some, or a, a card collector, oh, right? Oh, no. So, so, so... This is how I found your channel. It's oh, kind of funny. No. I, 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 I'll admit, I was not a big Graham Stephan guy, but I watched one of his reaction videos to you, and it was that, I think it was that one. And he said something like, don't collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You guys should be collecting old money. So all the eBay stuff, man, I, I have a coin collection. Um, that's actually something not accounted for in there. What's it worth? Probably, I mean... What, what I'd be willing to sell or what I what it's all in What is it worth? Probably four thousand. Okay. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Well yeah. I Please. mean it's been it's been over years, but I I mean yeah, it's just something I, I don't know. I, I I mean I have one if you want to see it, but I mean it's uh <laughs> on you? Yeah. <laughs> oh sure, let's see it. This is for credit card people only. If you're not a credit card person, close your ears. People always ask me what credit cards do I use personally or what credit cards should they use in specific instances. I've partnered with card ratings to create specific lists of good credit cards based on specific situations. So we have the best no annual fee credit cards, the best travel credit cards, the best secured credit cards, and the best credit cards for people who have no existing credit. So to check out those lists that we've specifically curated, head down to the description below.
I mean, so yeah, it's a, uh, you know, and the basis was, I, I did always try and just justify it, right? You know, like the basis is like at a minimum, if Japan, no, China, China, oh, yeah, right. the, the panda, that's the panda coins are like super famous if, among coin collectors, but, um, so, and, and that one's really cool because it's got like a case that's like colored, you know, normally they're just boring white ones, but the justification oh, okay. I guess I always case. used for myself was like, you know, at a minimum, if nobody cares about the coin or, or the grade, you know, cause that one's graded. Uh, if nobody cares about that at a minimum, it's a, a silver price. Really cool. But I say, I give a about your future. Yeah. And if you were in the place where you didn't have debt and minimum monthly payments and interest accruing, and things were going towards investing, and you had 30% of your money, if not more, to spend on fun based on your needs, buddy, you could put so much more money towards this awesome, lovely collection of pandas on, yeah. on pieces of round metals. I'm all about that. Do whatever you want. When you can do it, you're not there yet, and you could do it so much more if you actually sacrifice now in order to get there. I thought you were about to say it was all Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but no, no, no. So, so that's why I was he, and, I, and that's I saw Graham, and he's like, "If you're gonna collect it, collect money." And then I, I didn't like his stuff before, but I, I see I, what I you liked, did, Graham. See what you did. <laughs> I, I liked him after that. You know, I changed my perspective on him too. And then I started watching some more of his videos because you know, as I got in this hole and was you know just trying to figure out my situation and what I could do, yeah, I realized the ones he was re reacting to, I like yours the best. So that's kind of what stumbled me onto your channel. Oh, thank you. It's not a competition, but... No, 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 uh, but that's just how I got drawn in. See what you caused, Graham. $896.01 <laughs> on a Capital One with a $62 minimum monthly payments. Your minimum monthly payments are stacking up. You made a huge payment. You didn't fully pay off the balance. No, you I, I paid it off now. Um, that, since then, yeah. This has no balance on this it. This has no balance Good. Now. In the moment of this card, though, still, you didn't pay off the full balance, and you made $394 of purchases and $53 of interest accrued, bringing it to a $900 balance. This was what's Invicta stores. Oh, gosh. Uh, those, those are watches. Uh, but I, it, wasn't a, it wasn't all I wanted to watch. Okay, and other things. But, yeah. Which he would also say is probably a goodbye eventually. Does it make sense when you have a 30% debt? No. no. I don't really know much about watches. I'm an Apple Watch boy, but do Apple Watches on average accrue 30% a year? I, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't have an iPhone or Apple Watch. Uh, no, 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 no. Not Apple Watches. Do those accrue at 30% a year? No, I mean, but this is, I mean, it's it's a relatively inexpensive watch. What um, is that? And how much does it cost? I, I, uh, it's just like one of their diver watches. It's only like hundred bucks. What's your most expensive watch? Only like a hundred, 120. Okay. So you went and bought four watches? No, uh, I bought a case with it. So I Okay. Could... Well, that's not going to appreciate, is it? No. Or maintain value? Who wants a used case unless it's from like. Well, it's to store. Frank Sinatra or watches, something. But yeah. And then some potential taquitos and great clubs. That's fine. But. Oh, like... the good news is, hey, you, hey, I, I. Life change. And, you know, I lost weight. I also no longer, so 50 bucks a month we can save in the budget. I no longer go to Great Clips or anything. Yeah. Okay. So you spent $394, $357 of it again on watches. It's not going to be competing with your credit cards and personal and even your personal on a 20% interest. It just doesn't make sense. Then we have student loans. Yeah. Where'd you go to school? Doesn't uh, matter, where? but. Yeah. Uh, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Very cool. The kangaroos. Sure. $21,412.23. So I went to community college first, and I actually good. got That's a, a scholarship, path. and, you know, they offered the best rate. They took all, most of my credits, and so it was a very educated decision, right? Okay. Minimum monthly payments are starting up, 250 bucks probably. Have you set up automatic payments yet? Not yet. Go ahead and do that, because you have just a couple couple days. Couple um, days. Oh, well. Yeah. And but your highest interest rate is five, and then your lowest is just below four. So, we'll we'll, we'll talk about the student loans when it comes to that. Now, Cash App, you do a lot of your uh, spending through Cash App. Yeah, but so, thirty thirty two dollars of fees in that month just alone. Yeah, so so what the f so so the fees are are from Bitcoin because you can buy Bitcoin on Cash App. But but listen listen, I I, I I'm listening. I, I I I found your channel and you said something. You were like, hey. Having money in crypto is not an emergency fund. That was my emergency fund. So I would just toss some into Bitcoin. And then, you know, I had like, I had close to like $800 in there as, as my emergency fund. But then 
I opened a high yield savings and uh, yeah, I switched it out. I sold the Bitcoin and then you have zero dollars of Bitcoin now. Zero dollars in Bitcoin. Good, because that is not an emergency fund. What were you doing in here? You're getting taquitos and coffee. I don't know what UA.MD is, but maybe doctor of some kind. Either way, good sense subscription. No, it's it's not a subscription. That's subs. It's a uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's that's food. Yeah. Sammy's taquitos and there's yourself selling the bitcoin that you're putting in then you went and purchased bitcoin and then this so this is interesting as someone who is a subscriber to hinge premium plus extra extreme like deluxe you okay we have some things to figure out here like you go hard i i thought me just having a subscription of that was wild enough but dude you're paying $32 $32 for Bumble here. $16 to Bumble there. Well, let's keep going. And then we'll come back through some of these other purchases eventually. But I know we saw a good amount. Yeah, where is it? Tender, we're giving $38 there. Bumble, $16 of Bumble. We're giving a lot of money to Bumble. How successful is all these dollars that you're throwing at Bumble? Um, well, I canceled the subscription, but uh, yeah. I mean, so you're buying the, uh, what, Super Swipes? No, no. I mean, like, I I'm, I mean, yeah, I did at one point, but I I, uh, I canceled all of it now. So I, I don't buy it anymore. Well, there's the cancel the reoccurrings, but you can still go on there and purchase one time. Sure, yeah. But those were the, what some of those were. You know, man, is the boost and yeah, the, the boost stuff, Super yeah. Swipe. It's pay to win, right? I mean, you gotta. <laughs> well, did you win? I mean, <laughs> I'm I'm not dating anyone, but you know, I met some people. Absolutely, uh, you know, it's it's kind of weird on the dating apps. People are the weird club. on the club. Uh-huh. They do Morgan Freeman impressions in British. Well, and, uh, we don't have to get into all that, but I've, it's just. You also spend like fifty bucks a month on OnlyFans. Yeah. Okay. Listen. So it, that's not every month. It, it it was it was. I I think I know what you're talking about. There was like one weekend when there was like it was a bad weekend. All right. I uh, you know, you you, you give me a look. You can't kick a man while he's down, right? I, I, something happened. Well, and, all I'm gonna say is it, there's a there's free stuff. Yeah. There's free stuff. Yeah. That's all yeah, I'm gonna say. Would I go stuff. spend fifty dollars? Like. Yeah. I, I had a money spending problem. <laughs> like. There's some dot com options. I promise. Smoothie King, McDonald's, Chipotle, DoorDash and Mr. Green, and some taquitos and DoorDash and Outback taquitos, Hen House, DoorDash, and there's the Bitcoin stuff, some VO and the OnlyFans and OnlyFans and food at Pizza Wall, Bitcoin, eBay $129, eBay $23, eBay $65. And some taquitos and coffee. And there's your Tinder. Bitcoin, taquitos, Hulu subscription yearly, maybe? 77 bucks or cable? It might be cable. I, uh, it was the cable, but I, I've recently switched that off. So it's down now. Do you feel, I'm curious, just be as honest as you can be, addictive tendencies to those watchy, watchy X dot no, um, naughty things? No, no, I just, I just... Well, that's a I, lot of money I, to spend, but maybe that's just what people uh, do you, these days. You know, loneliness is tough. I, uh, I, uh, I, I That's struggle. not going to cure loneliness, no, man. No, Paying 50 no. bucks on the OF. No, it won't. Yeah, but go ahead. No, I mean, that's, you know, it's tough. You know, you, you spend a lot of time, you know, you're just in deep hole alone, I guess, you know, just go down the hole, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So, in another checking account, we have $181, and this looks like where the bills are coming out of. That's a very low, risky balance. Yeah. Now, a lot of the stuff we don't know where your spending went is because Cash App went out, Cash App went out, yeah. Cash App went out. Then we withdrew $420 <laughs> of monies from the ATMs. We don't know where that went. And Cash App went out, and Venmo went out, Cash App 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 out. That went to your Cash App stuff, of course. But the ATM withdrawals, we don't know, and the Cash App out. Did the ATM money go? <laughs> I think one was a tattoo and, you know, just living life. What's more important, paying off a 20 to 30% debt or a 
tattoo. Why don't you tattoo 30% on your skin? That'll remind you how bad the debt is. Yeah. Why? It wasn't um, thought of that way. Why, for a new Bumble picture? (laughs) No. (laughs) Man, this is, I don't know, the spending's just on wild. Things are just out of control. It's just those extra things. Plus, I don't know, man. It's there's a lot of thoughts going through my head. And this other banking account, three hundred fifty bucks, and it was just mostly transferring things to accounts. I was yeah, like, I should probably just close that. Thousand two hundred ninety in Capital One high yield. I think it's at what like four point one percent these days. It's 4. like four point three or something like that. Yeah, four point five was so fun. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I, I'm. Uh, it was at the. I guess I just put it on there because I had the other Capital One accounts. You it's know, not a bad one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And mm-hmm. so I would just, you know, it, it, I would go in and now I'm like constantly checking it, right? So it's kind of like... Why? So, so I, I don't know. It's kind of like a motivation to like pay off the okay. other credit card, you know? So I'll see all the balances and then... What's in there like, right now? Uh, it, that's the most recent balance. And then okay. um, it's like 1200 something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we have uh, in retirement, a 401k, 1190 and it's a target date retirement fund. Lovely. And Fidelity, is this? So that's, oh, LLC that's from the old company. So the no Roth one. IRA. Uh, I just haven't explored those options. Oh, yeah, man, yeah. I would have explored it because getting that started before 30, but you're already basically there. I just Damn. turned 29, so I've still got a year to figure it out, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's 370 bucks from this one, and this one's mostly just well Yeah, yeah I well just started account. at the new one, yeah. It's also a target 2016. Okay. Well, and to be fair, I had more in the other one, but yeah, um, you know, if you don't stay for the vesting balance period, I guess, you know, yeah, I got hurt there. You've made changes to your health and you've done things there. That's great. You've been successful on the discipline thing. The spending on that OF, the spending on the dating apps, the spending on the tattoo, the spending on the coins and stuff and the watches and all this stuff that is, even if things at least maintain or even appreciate a bit, is it going to keep up with the 20 to 30%? I don't think so. Are you ready to change? Because we're going to lay out, we're going to lay out what's actually necessary, but it only matters. And I'm only going to use my time here doing it. And these people's time, if you're actually going to listen to what I say, make action and change, and then come back and give us success. Yeah, no, I mean, that's that's the whole reason I found you. And, and like I said, I learned the most from like people who are like, like-minded with me, but have different perspectives and different inputs to offer, you know, it kind of ties into like the lifelong learning thing. I'm, I'm never closed minded. I'm always open to new ideas and new thoughts. Um, I took out that loan and I actually made a, a, an extra payment just to kind of see, I, I mean, I, the goal all along was to pay off that personal loan before the, the term. Right. But the pro, um, and, and you know, I, I was just always going to make the thought process with the credit cards was I had, I'd always carried a balance and I couldn't, couldn't seem to beat it. Right. So that's why I took out the loan and with the loan, it helped me clo- like destroy one of the balances. Yeah, but you've been spending on them anyway. And there's a couple you haven't paid off. You paid off yeah. one, but yeah. if we're just transferring so we can continue f-ing around, that's not, that's not progress. No, we need to stop looking for shortcuts. Yeah. It was definitely a shortcut, I'd say. Like I said, I, I had... And I yet had, you've extended your road, in fact, because you then built up the balances still on the cards. So no more shortcuts. We're going to lay out a budget. We're going to attack it and go hard, just like you did with your health over the course of two years. Hopefully we can tackle this quicker because you have a strong income and that income should only go up. So whether that be job hopping or, you know, more monies through raises and everything like that. So, 4188 just went out on just what we consider other large purchases. That's $1,520 of ATM withdrawals. Ben went out 83 bucks. Great clips again. That's fine. DMV, you're going to do that. You took a certification type thing, which is great. American Airlines, was that to come here? American Airlines. Let me... I don't know. We had uh, AA.com. Um... No, I, I'm not sure what that one is, actually. Uh, I'd have to look into that. 134 uh, bucks, which our travel reimbursement will cover. 
uh, that for sure. But and then unknown draws eight hundred bucks because we just don't know. And different points of service withdrawals of one thousand three hundred fifty two. We don't know. So yeah, I mean, it was a weird month, right? As because uh, I took out that loan and then I I had money was on fire to me. You know, I took out the personal this loan. This just happened. Yeah, this I, just happened. I took it out in July, and, and so like I had like a large starting balance. So that so. those all that that we don't even know, we don't even know those forty percent of your money, forty percent of your money was just, and then extra miscellaneous bull taquitos and just whatever, uh, OF and Tinder and Bumble and eBay and a couple extra stores in Fashion Nova. 19.2% of your spending, which was $2,000. And then subscriptions, 1.5%, not including the dating apps. And bullshit food, 4.1% of the... Uh, 4.1 percent of your spending, not a crazy percentages, but if we had to pull this money, it is more than you were bringing home on a monthly basis. Because guess what? What we said you're bringing in 4,844 on average. 4,118 was just burned. So no wonder the balances on the credit cards just go up. You're spending double. You're spending. You're spending triple. Tri if this what? is how much money you bring in, this is how much money you bring in on this month itself with where money went. You spent. Of the money that you spent, 33% of it actually came in to spend. Don't forget, you have until the end of this Friday to fill out the survey near the top of the description below to win $250. Four lucky people will be selected for that prize. We're just trying to become educated on who our audience is, and then we'll be keeping you up to date with exciting things going on here. End of this Friday, $250 for four people. Yeah. At least from the math that we were able to make up. You're right, not every month is the same. But out of the month we looked at, yeah, it was, it was a weird month. Like I said, I took out that loan and I was, the plan was to make steady payments and I, I, I was making steady credit card payments and trying to just balance everything else. So. All I'm saying is I can make a budget, but if you go and spend 66% more money than comes in, there is no point of even having oh, the yeah. conversation. Because no, no. we can make a budget, but that's just one thing. No, then I, you I, have to follow it and you have to actually do what's necessary. I'm I'm here for the budget. I'm all like I said. I am ready for. Well, you I, follow it more than like a month yes, or two. Yes, absolutely. If okay. you if you could lay something out and said you know six months to a year you gotta you gotta suffer for a little bit, but in six months to a year you can be done with this and that, and only we have to worry about students. I would do it in a heartbeat. I would, I done. Let's do it yeah. in that heartbeat. What is your rent? Uh, so I, I have three roommates right now. What's your portion? Four fifty. That is in. Incredible! Everyone moved to Kansas City, apparently. Well, so where I'm at, it's actually really expensive to live, but my buddy owns the house. Um, oh. The, uh, the area I live in is pretty affluent. Um, it's on the Kansas side. It's it's honestly, I was looking online. The it, Kansas No, it's, uh, oh. it's comparable to uh, Austin, the, where I, to give you an idea of the cost of living. It's, really? Yeah, really. Um, huh. I, I, I did one of the calculators. Um, it said... 80,000 in Kansas City to make the same you'd have to make 82,000 in Austin. I didn't do a yeah. lot of looking into that. That was just like this morning before I was coming here I was just kind of looking at it. Okay, and your your portion of utilities and internet on average? Probably 150. Your phone bill? Um so yeah, it's it's 100 flat, but I get 65 as a stipend, so it's really like 30, you know. Right, but we're going to call it 100, 100 flat yeah. because we included in your income yeah, as yeah. stipend, so beautiful. Car, you don't have a car payment. No, it's paid off. Good. What's your car insurance? Uh, it's like fifty-five a month. Therapy? Yeah, I'm in that. That is that one twenty-five a month, one twenty-five yeah. a session. And then there's that's probably, great. There's probably like sixty, maybe I'd say eighty in prescription medications as well with that. So probably like two hundred a month on average for therapy and medications. Yeah, about two hundred five. Okay. Good. All about it. All about it. Groceries. How do you do it with your roommates and everything? Is it individual? We're all on our own, yeah. Okay, I'm giving you $300. 300 for groceries. It's just meal prepping twice a week. Lots of the same, not thrilling meals, but that's the temporary sacrifice we do. I, I did meal prep for a long time, man. That's, uh, it's, you know, you had to develop healthy habits. Have to... you found after you've lost weight that you've been gaining weight at all? No, I... I uh... I'm pretty steady. You know, Good. it's all about developing healthy habits. Like I said before. It is. I just saw a lot of eating out. So I just wanted to make well, sure. Well, it was a weird month. And like I said, I thought money was on fire because I took out that Every month. Every month's so going to be a weird well, month no, in, every yeah, other, in a different because, way. Yeah, for sure. No, I agree. Um, it's just like since 
I had it. I, I thought since I took out the loan, I was like, I need to spend all this money, right? Because I just took out the loan. I can't have like 5,000 sit in the bank from the loan. Otherwise, why did I take out the loan? You know, so I had to spend it all on the credit card. So, oh. so I was, I, I, I guess that's why the spending was a little crazy as well, you know, because I had to, you know, money was on fire in my mind, I guess. And, oh, okay, yep, there's the prescriptions. Cool, so I'm told paper, anything else you need to survive, toothpaste, all that crap, keeping the world operating in your life, 100 bucks. So use that what you need to for that. I'd stop taking money out and spending it. I want to be able to track everything. Unless unless you want to fully, either fully operate on cash that you're doing like an envelope system where things are designated or just operate on the debit card so you can track within a budgeting system where money's going. Because it's hard to do both together. Yeah, for sure. I definitely need to, I, I was. Thinking. Storage, you have to continue? Is that like phone storage? That's yeah, I, I do have to continue the phone But we have storage. $151 in subscriptions. This is storage, Hulu, Spotify, uh, that CC bill, which you said you canceled Paramount Plus and LinkedIn. This is what I'm going to allow. I'm going to allow for $12 a month in subscriptions. Spotify's got to stay, yeah. Then okay. it's Spotify and storage, and that's it. Cool. Spotify and storage. Those are the only subscriptions you have. I'm good with getting more certifications and all that stuff. Uh, do you want to have that in a monthly budget? How often do you do them? Or is that like a quarterly thing? Uh, biannual so the way this this one that i was using you can actually go on there and try their certificates and courses for a week and then you know after the week's up then you would pay that fee so that one was just like i forgot to cancel it before the week was up you know what i mean um okay is there anything else that needs to be in your budget besides your debt minimum monthly payments no it's a car phone yeah no uh Mom is fully paid off? Yeah, mom's fully paid off. That was the first thing I this did. This is with student loans starting next month, so there's no reason not to include it in the budget. Yeah, yeah. 835 a month is your debt. It's a crazy number. What you need to survive is $2,367.01. It's not an insignificant number. Your rent is cheap. That's what's good. But... The 50 and the 50, 30, 20 with those incre incredible, insanely high debt payments. So it's actually, I'm very happy that you're in that below 50% for your needs. So with that, you would have on an average month, $2,476.90 left. Let's, yeah. So let's just call it 200 or $2,476. Lovely. So that's what you have left on a monthly basis. You have, what was it in savings again? What was that number? Uh, it's like 1300 Okay. So what we're doing, first month, this month's almost done, so let's call it October. Uh, let's call it, no, October is next month. Okay. We're going to call setting $1,000 of that $2,470 aside, and then you have a fully funded one-month emergency fund in case anything happens, so you don't have to f like you did last time. Okay, lovely. The additional $1,470 or so that you will have, Cook's over card is pay off. It's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, are you saying I, the, well, other, you say, the you one say, that I have left? Yeah, yeah, yes. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. That one's done unless it's called that the end of that month just to be conservative with the emergency fund and stuff like that and just adapting to the new budget. Okay, because there's going to be, you're going to figure out there's, oh, there's another expense that has to be in life. Not just make sure it's not both put it in there. Some things might be less, some things might be more. So we'll call that, you know, the first two months of wiggle room, full one month emergency fund, and the Quicksilver card is paid off. Now, we're going to start attacking the Discover It card. It's going to be about $8,700 at the time because just the interest and minimum monthly payments are nothing. So divide that by your $2,060. You now have 2000 Never mind. Divide that by your two thousand five hundred you now have left on a monthly basis because that minimum monthly payment from Quicksilver is gone. That'll take three and a half months. So we're gonna round it up again, just play a little conservative. So we've completed month number five. We've completed month number five. Personal uh, the Discover It card is done, the Quicksilver card is done, and we have a one month emergency fund. Now we're probably going to have about $19,000 of the personal loan. And we are going to have approximately 
$700 to attack it on a monthly basis, bringing that to seven months. Uh, that's going to be, that's going to take a total of seven months. To, to, to pay off the car- personal loan alone. So this is 12 months, a full year, oh, okay. full, a full year. Your personal loan is gone. Discover it is gone. Quicksilver is gone. And we have a one month emergency fund. That's nothing. A year of your life. Who gives you're 30 lovely. There's decades and decades of your life yet left. So that's just a little sacrifice just to get that. Now what you need to survive is all of a sudden decreased to about 1750 bucks a month. Times, and then you're going to adjust that when you get a more expensive rent eventually. Yeah, it's Time. coming soon. <laughs> That's going to be an $11,000 emergency fund. That's really all you need. $11,000, six-month emergency fund. You're going to subtract the th- ah, $11,000, subtract the $2,300 you have saved up on the side, so you need an additional $8,700. We're going to divide that by the 2000 no, $3,000 you have left on a monthly basis now, which is awesome. That's going to take just three months. So a year and three months, all your bad debts are gone, and you have a fully funded six-month emergency fund. A year and three months. No going out and f- around and having a bunch of bull fun. No, we have free fun. If we go out with the boys, the boys pay for the drink. That's how it goes. So... One year, three months, now you have the student loans, 4 to 5%. What I'm doing, because I need you to catch up on investing, because you basically have nothing to invest in yet. What you're doing is you're setting aside 25% of your money on a monthly basis to retirement. So mm. would you say, like, right now, should I just, like, not put anything into, like, the 401k and then wait? 401k, what's the match? It's half of what... They match half of uh, what you put in up to 6%. So if you put in 6, you get 3. I'd still do that because that's a 50% return okay. on your money, and that's higher than anything else you're getting. So I would at least keep that, but I wouldn't do anything extra. Okay. So what we're doing at that time, 50% of your money goes towards your needs. If you're continuing the same situation, your needs are actually going to be less than that, which means you can have more fun. But either way, you're maxing out your needs at 50%. That's what you need to survive. Those are the necessities. 25% minimum on a monthly basis is going towards investing to start playing catch up. You're doing the minimum monthly payment on the student loans until they're paid off in your conti- for that 10 years because you're going to do a traditional repayment plan. That is included in your needs. Whatever is left over, which should be about 25, 25 to 30 to 35% of your money based on if your needs are a full 50 or less, can be spent on fun. You can go, you can start the extra collections again. If those, they sure they maintain value or they might go up, but that's still kind of fun money to me. That's not going to beat the S&P 500 probably. So the investing, we're not considering that a part of. So whatever you want to spend your money on, if that's DoorDash, if that's whatever, your fun money is your fun money. Spend it on what you want as long as we are doing 25% on investing and no more than 50% on your necessities of life. So probably 25 to 30 to 35% of your money can be fun again. But that's, not after a year and three months, which is when all the bad debt is gone and you have a fully funded six-month emergency fund. People always ask me, what high-yield savings account do I use for my own money? Some of you know by now it's SoFi. I love them. It's great for my checking account needs. It's great for my high-yield savings account needs. And right now, I'm getting 4.5% interest on my monies. I love that rate on my monies. So if you want to get a great rate like that on your money, just check out the link in the description below. I have a paid affiliate link there. You can get bonuses all the way up to $250, and I took advantage of that, and you should too. No f***ing around until then. <laughs> well, the exciting thing is, a year and three months from now, I want you to sit right there again. I want you to sit right there again, and then we celebrate. We go, I've been doing this for about a year and three months. So double the time I've been doing this channel, and you should be here again. 2024, huh? Let's or do it, man. 25, I think that would be actually, yeah. Yeah, but doesn't that sound incredible? It that's life changing. Like I said, I, 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 that's why I wanted to see what you would say, and I'll attack it. Um, it's really good when you say, like, I don't know, I, I tried to crunch the numbers myself and come up with ways. I just couldn't balance it all, I guess. It's 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 sometimes hard, and getting an outside perspective can be helpful. And it's, again, the conversations I have here are the conversations I wish someone had with me a decade, 11 years ago or so. So that's really good. And then if you want to attack the student loans, you can. I just want you to start catching up on investing because I'm a little nervous of that, and I don't want you dying on the Walmart floor because you have to work in your 90s in order to pay rent because you never saved up enough money to get a house. 
So I don't want you dying on the one more floor. That's why we're playing catch up on retirement. If you want to check the student loans, you can, but we're at least starting to invest. And I would do 25% at the time, maybe more, maybe yeah. more to play catch up, but that's up to you. So do you have any final thoughts, any questions for me? Um, I guess a final thought. Yeah, sure. Um, you know, one of the things that really drew me to your channel and you personally is like your respectfulness for mental health. Um, I did have one thing I wanted to add about that. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I struggled with depression. Uh, I had severe recurring MDD. I'm currently in therapy. Can you tell us what MDD is? Uh, it's it's just the clinical diagnosis term. It's okay. like um, okay. something, something depression. The D, one of the Ds is depression. It's sure. just whatever they write on their little thing. Um, okay. But the, the point I wanted to get across was, you know, uh, I feel like there's a, a misconception with depression. Um, you know, like like sometimes people just say like, oh, I'm sad, I'm depressed. But there's another aspect to it. Uh, and I want to be clear, you know, I'm not saying if all you are is sad and you've been d diagnosed or people have like said you're depressed. That I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm saying there's other forms and it affects everybody differently. Um, me, I, I would get really sad. Like I was talking about. I had an episode and, and I was, it's like a blanket of sadness, right? It, it's overwhelming. But the other thing is, um, until I heard somebody say and describe exactly what I had thought and felt and was going through without me even saying it to anyone, uh, it, it, you know, it, basically what happened for me was I told you I, I'm trying to build something beautiful, um, worth sticking around for it. Basically, I was in just a bad head state, right? I was in this hopelessness state which is another form of depression that people don't often mention and yeah. you know you you would wake up every day and you know I, I would know that some of the spending was bad but you know like I said I was just taking it one day at a time trying to survive the day you wake up and, and it's not that like you're sad every day but you're in this like state of hopelessness where you yeah. like, like you could see somebody walking down the street walking their dad uh, their dog like maybe a happy couple holding hands walking their dog and you just look at them and you'd be like look at these you know what why are they trying? They're just, it, it's hard to escape that, you know? And that's why they say talking about it helps until I like heard somebody else online describe it exactly how I was feeling without saying it. It, it, it kind of, you know, that was when I really started to take the therapy and things, you know, and really started to align everything. So, you know, if anyone is in a similar situation where, you know, they're just like, hey, well, you know, you wake up out and you're just already predetermined outcomes for everything, you know, you're like, suck, everything's bad, why try? You know. It, you got to try different things. You know, if you find that you do have that kind of headspace, you got to, you know, maybe some of the things you say no to, because you would always say no, you got to say yes. And maybe you'll wake up the next day and be a little less miserable. That, that's just all I wanted to share. No, that's great. You're a for being on here and for wanting to take that change when it comes to personal finances and creating that beautiful life to living for. So I'm very glad we were able to easily fit in your budget therapy and medications and everything. It's very important. So continue that. Make sure you're talking to your mental health expert that you're going through this process because there's going to be times where this is stressful and you want to do those extra things and all that stuff. So we want to make sure you're in a mentally good place because that's what matters more than anything. You're nothing if not your mind. So Make sure you're very open and communicative with your therapist and uh, about this whole process and what you're going through. Keep care of that. Let's get through this. A year and three months, you come back on here, we celebrate, and then you live an amazing rest of the decades of your life. Hey, a year and three months, I could do that easily. Yeah, absolutely. For Mikey, a year and three months. That's it. A year and three months of sacrifice, and I want him back here kicking ass and improving his Hammer Financial Score. His Hammer Financial Score right now is spending the budget. Come on, spending 66% more money than you bring in. We can't be doing that, especially when it's a lot of it's on both. Zero out of 10. Debt, no collections, no IRS debt, but still pretty darn bad, so one out of 10. Emergency fund, I'm glad that has gotten started. Still not great, but two out of 10. Retirement, again, started, but really, really behind for his age. One out of 10. Real estate, not a part of the conversation yet. Zero out of 10. It's gonna have, that's gonna be a Hammer Financial Score of one out of 10 for now when he gets back i hope that's around three or four or five make sure to check out all the resources linked in the description below they are what i use or would use in specific situations if you want to be in an episode of financial audit and you're able to make it down to austin texas fill out the survey in the description below